friends, it's me. And today we are watching a Darman video about a girl who wears a box to school and refuses to show her face. Who do you think you are, a Minecraft YouTuber? Class, I'd like to introduce our new student. Her name is Hannah. Why she got a box on her head? Well, I'm sure she's just a little shy. It's her first day out. That's not normal. What's she hiding? Is she like really ugly or something? Maybe she's famous and doesn't want any of you normies to recognize her. Okay, stop it, Abby. <laughs> Come on, Mrs. Johnson. You can't seriously think I'm the one with the problem here. I'm sure we can all agree that girl's a weirdo. Okay, can we talk about her peripherals? <laughs> You could see out of two little holes. You have to turn your head all the way to look and see what's on the side. Like, how are you not like constantly like knocking into walls? And you know, somehow I feel like wearing a box on your head with two little air holes to hide how you look is the least of your problems. Sweetheart, do you want to go ahead and take a seat? Toodaloo. Aww. I went to a public school. People are mean. I feel like if somebody did this one hour within being in the school, they would knock the box off their head and be like, I want to see what you look like. Like, it's going to attract more attention that you have the box on your head than just being yourself. But people aren't always comfortable being themselves. Mr. Lee, when I had heard that Hannah was wearing a box, I thought it was temporary. You know, a fashion statement that these young girls go through. I didn't realize it was going to be permanent. She used to wear a face mask at home. The box thing is new, but I'm still hopeful that this is all just a face. It's not a face, it's a box. As it stands right now, this isn't going to work. I'm very sorry. Just her wearing the box for one day created such a stir that I couldn't get half of my lesson plans done. I'm sure you understand. You can't just kick somebody out of your class for wearing a box on their head. You failed as a teacher. So no, it's distracting my entire class. I can't teach her get anything done. Yeah, we're gonna have to remove her from the class. That's gonna fix things. It's chilly. I tried to explain it to Hannah's therapist. I, I tried to keep Hannah in homeschool for this reason. But she insisted that I try and socialize her with other kids. Sir, if you don't mind me asking, what started all this face covering? An experience that traumatized her a few years ago. Aw, I feel like that'll do it. Trauma makes you do some crazy things. Like you never know what people are going through. Hannah used to be such a lively and confident girl. One day, she even met a boy named Alex. From that point forward, all she did was talk about this boy. She look a little too young to be talking about a boy. Hey, if I was her age and I brought up a boy to my dad? No, actually I did. Because I had a neighbor who was a boy and we traded Pokemon cards. And then my dad was like, who is this? Who is this Michael? Never speak to him again. I was so confused. Like, why? What, 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 what happened? Do not speak to boys. How am I going to trade my Pokemon cards if I cannot speak to them? Is sign language okay? But I had no idea what was going to happen next. Hannah decided to tell Alex she liked him in front of some other kids. Hi, Alex. I like you. Aww. What do you mean? They're just jealous! They don't have a girl saying they like them. Gotta let the boys know. You're ugly. Oh! oh! This is so embarrassing, but I like this dude. This was in sixth grade. I like basically grew up with him, I think since like second or third grade. And I finally told him I liked him. And then he literally told me I was ugly and just like straight up rejected me. I think every single guy I like until maybe college just straight up rejected me. It's so sad. This is why I have trust issues. Also, I was a really weird kid. <laughs> I don't think I was that ugly, but I was just like a really weird kid and just like extremely awkward. And like, I would be that guy that when I saw my crush in the hallway, I would literally ask for a hug. The where's my hug guy? That's me. It's so embarrassing. I've come a long way. She was so hurt by those words that she refused to even look in the mirror anymore. Aww. The only way she'll even talk to anyone now 
is if she covers her face. That's so sad. I feel like anybody who's been called ugly, you remember that forever. It's like you call somebody pretty, they'll forget in like 10 minutes. But like you call somebody ugly, they'll like remember forever. I mean, that stuff used to really hurt me. People say some nasty things to me. Now I'm used to it. Also, anybody who wants to trash talk on the internet, I see them as ants. Like if an ant looked up at you, a human, and told you you're ugly, you're not gonna care as much because they're an ant. So you see, it's all because a young boy called her ugly and she believed it. That's what really breaks my heart. I wish you knew how beautiful she is. Then tell her! I have this theory. It's like a handful of people I knew, they grew up with nobody ever calling them ugly. And it's like you can tell. It damages your self-esteem so much. I am so sorry, sir, that Hannah has gone through all of this. I hope the therapist's advice to put her in a new environment could help. It's better than her being glued to her blog on her computer at home all day. I hope she ends up being but YouTube famous at the way, end of this. I understand. Thanks for your time. Mr. Lee, I'll find a way to make this work. Tell Hannah I'll see her tomorrow. Hey, butterflies. Today was super tough. A lot of kids laughed at my box. You know, the one I wear because I'm scared to show my face. I felt so small and I just wanted to fly away. But then I thought of you guys, my amazing community. We're all unique butterflies, right? Everyone's got their own box or thing they're self-conscious about. My dad always says to me, a butterfly doesn't need to be told it's beautiful. It just is. That's why he calls me his butterfly. I mean, it's cute, but also I feel like you have to tell her she's beautiful. You can't just be like, you don't need to be told you're beautiful. You just have to believe it. Some people need to hear it. Maybe one day I'll believe him. In the meantime, stay strong and keep fluttering. Hey, butterfly, do you have a sec? Listen, honey, I just wanted to let you know that you're still going to school tomorrow, okay? <laughs> what? No, Dad, please. You don't understand how mean those kids were to me. I just want to be homeschooled. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but one day you'll understand. This is to help you. How is me getting made fun of gonna help me? You know, you can honestly go to school the next day, but with your face, and then nobody's gonna know it's you. Just start over. So you guys think Abby's the hottest girl in school? Bro, without a doubt, you're dating the hottest girl. And she's a 10 out of 10. Why would you want your bros to agree that your girlfriend is a 10 out of 10? No way. No. And this whole time, I thought the rumors about the box-headed girl weren't true. <laughs> what secrets are you hiding under here? Why are you standing there? Literally walk away. I'm not letting you leave until you show us what's under the box. I'm serious. It's either that, or I dump this whole water bottle on your head. Don't you mean on the box, idiot? What's it gonna be? Three, two, one. You gotta take it off. Oh, look at this. Another masked loser. <laughs> you guys related or something? <laughs> Babe, come on. You know I can't be late again. Sorry, babe. Daddy's busy bullying the box girl. I'll be waiting for you after school so we can finish this. What are you gonna do? Pour water on them? Joke's on you, that's bottled water. I wanna be hydrated and you're gonna look like an idiot. I have some water. No, stop, <laughs> stop! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you just gonna stand there and take it? You still got hands. You still got a foot. This is where you kick. You know, I am very against bullying people for no reason. But if somebody's gonna do something to you, you gotta stand up to yourself. Oh, she took it off. You're... You're... I know, I'm ugly. <gasps> no. Oh, what a surprise. Box set is back. Come on, Hannah. Let's box. <laughs> Girl, sit down before you break a nail. I almost forgot. I got you a little present. <laughs> now you're ready to be shipped off to another country. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she had that prepared. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> What's so funny? All right, well, in today's lesson, it will require all of us to think a little differently. Sorry, but I don't think Hannah's gonna be able to do that. And why is that, Abby? She has a hard time thinking outside of the box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <enough. laughs> 
Back to the list. <laughs> Pause the video. <laughs> I'm gonna need a second. This is why I can't teach the class. Come on, Jason. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Whoa! They actually got a fight going in a in a dark man video. Stop! Take up the box and I will. I gave you a chance. Now he's gotta pay. Okay, I will. Just, just stop hitting him. I mean, I was like, wow, she's actually pretty. Wow, you're pretty. <laughs> Stop teasing me. It's almost like she could have just went to school without the box. Everyone would have been like, whoa. Same. <gasps> is that the one that she grew up with that called her ugly? This is his redemption arc. Today, the craziest thing happened. I had to take my box off. Long story, but the crazy thing is, when I did, this boy, he called me something I could never believe. You know you're pretty when your bully calls you pretty. <laughs> he called me pretty. Is that all it took? I'm sure he was just saying that to tease me, but I couldn't help but wonder. I haven't looked at myself in the mirror in years. I don't even remember what I look like. What if you have something in your eye? As I said that, I felt something in my eye. Do you not look in the mirror? What about when you brush your teeth? I decided I'm going to post my first picture here to let you all see what I look like. And I know you guys will tell me the truth, so here goes nothing. Oh, she's brave. I wouldn't want the first time I show my face in years to be on the internet. People are mean Where's on the, the internet. There he is. It's him! He kept the bracelet after all these years. And he just Wait. did all that because the boys told him to. I just came to tell you that I'm sorry. To be honest, I don't know why I said what I said. I guess back then, it wasn't cool for boys to like girls. <laughs> I really didn't mean to hurt you. I feel like back then, guys would call you ugly because they liked you and they didn't know how to like express their feelings. So they'd be like, girl, ugly, eh, I'd rather play with Tonka truck. So instead of calling you pretty, I said you're ugly. Just so you know, I think you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. That's like the nicest thing someone could say. I understand you hate me, but I wanted you to know. Oh, and here. I got you something. Take care. It's another box, but with butterflies. I know he conspired with the dad. Wow! You are so pretty, wow! Okay, time to take it off. Butterfly, I know you've been through a lot the past couple days. So I decided it's okay for you to go back to homeschooling. I'm gonna ask my boss if I could work from home again. Hannah? She's ready to go to school. She's healed. The mirror is back. She can look at herself again. My knuckles are a little red, but um, that's about it. <laughs> Time to flex on everybody. Aw, she looks so nice. Bro, I still cannot believe how hot <laughs> Hannah is. I mean, she's like a 10.5. Or maybe, maybe even an 11? Hey, uh, Hannah, I feel like we may have gotten off to a bad start. I'm Jason. Is it okay if I sit? I just, What are uh, you doing talking to her? I, uh... I, I, wasn't. I was just talking to the was, wall right um, there. Hello, wall. How are you? Asking where her dumb box went. <laughs> Stay <laughs> away from Jason. To be honest, you look better with the box on. Is that why your boyfriend just tried sitting with her? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay if I sit? I promise I won't say anything mean to you. <laughs> Come on. Why do you keep staring at her? Oh, I'm not. I literally just saw you. Yay, happy ending. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face.
make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.